Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of Drunk on Beauty with Raven. I'm Raven, obviously. And today I want to share with you guys some really, really awesome things that I got from Gabriel Brothers today. And for those of you who don't know what Gabriel Brothers is, it's a discount store. It sells like slightly irregular clothing and like discount makeup and all kinds of shit. It's kind of the fucking bomb. And if you don't have one, I feel really bad for you. Um, it's like Burlington, but like shit's more fucked up. But like you can find a gem in there. Like I got a really awesome express skirt that had nothing wrong with it for a dollar today. You heard me, a fucking dollar. So first off, why is this called Drunk on Beauty? Because I'm drunk. And that has a lot to do with it. Mm. Shit, I put too much... Ooh. I put a little bit too much vodka in this one. Well, it's never too much. Back to the video. But what I want to do is show you the things that I got today. Um, I spent... See, I can't even do simple math right now, but I spent about $12 on all of this and I'm actually pretty excited about it. Um, the first thing I got was this. It's a makeup brush. It's a Cala Beauty Company called uh, Urban Studio. I'd never heard of it until now, but it says it's a bronzing brush. Now, the reason I actually got this is because... I have the Fenty foundation and I didn't want to spend a shit ton of money on the Fenty brush because I already spent a shit ton of money on the Fenty foundation. Sorry, just true. And I love it, but I've been having a hard time finding the right applicator for it. And I found this brush and as you'll see whenever I uh, put the picture in this, that it's actually somewhat similar, similarly, similar, ugh. get together, Raven similarly shaped to the Fenty Beauty foundation brush and I actually can't wait to try it with it and it's super soft I'm really surprised like look at the quality of that shit like we're not fucking around here and I really like the handle it's really cute and the fact that it was only $3.99 blows my fucking mind so I can't wait to give this one a try because it's super soft it's super thick it feels like the hairs are really, really dense and they're super soft. Like it feels like a high quality like Morphe brush. I'm totally shocked. So I will let you guys know how I feel about this as long as I don't pass out before I can fucking try it. All right. Next on the agenda is taking another drink because it's not called somewhat drunk beauty. It's called Drunk on Beauty. So, alright, the second thing I got is only $1. fucking ninety nine. Say it with me again. What? $1.99. This is the Pro Fusion Sweet Tooth Glamour. Glamour. What's it fucking called? I don't remember what it's called. But... It's freaking beautiful. It's in the shade Shimmer. <clears throat> and yes, it is a giant copy off of the chocolate bar. But honestly, these colors look beautiful. And I'm going to try and take them out right now to swatch for you. Um, shit. If I can take it off. Okay. So first things first. This packaging is adorable. Especially for something. It's only $5 on their website. And I got it for $1.99. Like, I'm really impressed with that price point, so there's a good chance that when I swatch this, it might be absolute garbage. <laughs> so, I'll let you know in a second. Ooh, it's pretty. Look at this. This is gorgeous. I'm really surprised. <gasps> oh, oh my god. Irma Gerd. Er, my gird. This is, oh, oh, well, okay. I guess that's not as exciting. You can't really see that at all, can you? All right. Well, it might take some packing, but the fact that, like, I could rub it on my finger like that, oh, it's really, really fucking pretty. Look at that. I'm really impressed with this so far. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, Lord, I can't wait to try this. And those ones actually swatched a little better. 
Okay, so my swatches are uneven, whatever. But, and I like how I'm just gonna rub all this shit in instead of actually uh, getting a makeup wipe or anything like that, because <clears throat> ain't nobody got time for that. But I actually find this really beautiful and I can't wait to try it. It is nine colors. Yeah, math, simple math, Raven. Nine colors. And the only one I don't see myself using that much will be probably the white, but who knows? Maybe I'll give it a whirl. I really like this though. I think this is beautiful and I can't wait to try it. Especially for a dollar fucking 99. I mean, give me a goddamn break. The last thing I got is the ever famed and secret Paris Hilton cosmetics. For some reason, this thing doesn't fucking exist online anywhere. And I did a blog post not too long ago on the Gold Rush lipstick and it was beautiful. And it smells really, really good too. I think that's my favorite thing about it is it just smells gorgeous. But I was really shocked that like every single, whoa, what happened to my camera? Sorry, got a little too excited. Every single time I've seen this Paris Hilton stuff, it's always at like Burlington or Gabe's. And this is where I got this one. The uh, Gold Rush I actually got at Burlington and it was super fucking cheap too. But this is only $4.99. Look at this. Okay. First of all, I think the most exciting thing about this is the fact that that's a fucking eyeshadow. Who the fuck in the world needs that much eyeshadow? I do. So, thanks. And then this is a really, really pretty uh, lip gloss. It's holographic, apparently. And I liked the other Gold Rush lip gloss so much that I'm hoping this has the same quality to it. Especially because if you look on the back, oh my god! This looks absolutely beautiful. So I just cannot wait to try this. And I'm actually going to rip it open and see if I can try the lip gloss right now. And I'm going to do a swatch of the eyeshadow for you. Maybe. Ooh. This packaging is so cute. I haven't seen packaging this cute in a long time. I'm totally shook by this. So this is... See, there's nothing on it. Like this had to have been a soft release. There's nothing on it. There's not even a barcode on this box. The only barcode there is the cheap ass one that Gabe's put on it. And I just cannot believe that the only place I'm finding this is in discount stores. Oh my God, look at that. Okay, it's time to swatch it because I have a feeling this is gonna be freaking beautiful. <gasps> Oh my god. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm partially African American, I know, shocker. So I need to put a little bit more on whenever I swatch something, um, more than your average white girl would have to, so bear with me for a moment. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, why did I put that there? You can't fucking see that? What the fuck? Alright, take two maybe right there oh my god look at that oh my god this is fucking beautiful i cannot wait to try this also on top of that i really think that it would make a beautiful highlighter as well so i'm actually really fucking excited about this it is so pretty Oh my God, I wanna put it all over my entire body. Look at that. Okay. Now, let's try this lip gloss. I can tell you already, it's not gonna look the way that it does on the back of this package. I feel a little cheated because this is definitely like a clear kind of like lip gloss. But I'm gonna open it, oh, see, yeah. It's definitely not gonna look the way it did on that package, but. <gasps> it smells like fucking cookies oh my god it smells like frosting actually is what it smells like why do these all smell so good like and why can't i find it anywhere legit like this is amazing Mm. 
Nothing's happening. Okay, it feels really nice. Like it's silky smooth, but can you see anything? Does this look like this? I don't think so. So, I'm gonna try it with one of the blue metallics that I have to see if it would make a good lip topper maybe, but obviously it's not getting the job done like this one is. The uh, highlighter I'm super impressed with. This is beautiful. Like. I can't even start to explain how beautiful this is. Like, I know it's an eyeshadow. I keep calling it a highlighter, so shut the fuck up. I, don't, I know I'm going to get it in the comments. But I'm going to use it as a highlighter. I'm going to use it as whatever the fuck I want. Because I want to. And I think for... How much did I pay for all of this? <laughs> $11. For $11 plus tax... Um, I don't know. I feel like I came out the winner here. Um, I'm really fucking impressed with both of these, uh, eyeshadows and I cannot wait to try that brush because it is just absolutely beautiful. And usually I think the Cala Beauty stuff looks a little thin. I think the hairs look so thin that I'm like, why would I ever buy this? Even if it is cheap. And this one's just really super dense and really soft and it feels really high quality. So I'm actually think. I'm pretty happy with the haul that I got today and um, I would suggest checking out a Gabe's if you've never seen one they're mostly in the Northwest I think they might only be in like PA West Virginia and Ohio actually so if you're ever in the area give it a fucking try because they're amazing they even had some like the balm stuff today and uh, they had Estee Lauder foundation unfortunately they were all like dark as midnight there was no way I was going to be able to use any of them but I was impressed that they had it so I would say give it a fucking try and make sure that you stay beautiful. I'm going to continue getting drunk. Thanks for watching today. This has been Drunk on Beauty with Raven.